Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Together for Victory DLC as Australian People's Republic. We're doing pretty well right now. Uh, we have the entirety of Asia pretty much covered. And we're having our units move over to here to cover uh, mainland Japan as well. Of course, to do that, we're going to need a few more uh, units of... Come here. There we go. Uh, MP, so let's just set the location. When can I deploy you? Like 20%, 25%? When you get up there, I'll probably just instantly deploy you. Um, why are you here? I don't know. We'll move you later. I don't think we'll attack them here. I don't think it's going to be really worth it. The Japanese will probably shoot us down. If we're going to try that, we've got to be a lot more confident in ourselves. So what I'll do for the moment, I think, is... I should probably defend camera. I should put like at least one unit in camera. It's just a bit too close to the sea for my liking. But that said, mountainous. Um. Do, 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 do. What do we want? I want to train some more units. That'll do. A little bit less. We don't want to put too many units in for now because uh, we do run the risk of overextending ourselves a little bit too much when we want to upgrade them. And I do not want to go a little bit too overboard with that. Because right now is actually a pretty good time to upgrade some of these units. So let's look at the infantry. What have we got that we can add? Support artillery. We have the artillery for that. Save. Done. And then it's going to complain about we do not have enough artillery. Just. we just knock one of these off and we should have uh, a little bit closer to the number of artillery needed. 72 still? Ah, oh, there we go. Artillery's fine now. I will let you free reign for the moment. A lot of Japanese units over here. I wonder what's going to happen with them. Like, are they going to plan some sort of super amazing naval invasion? Probably not. The AI is not particularly good at naval invasions. They, they said they have changed that, I think. This episode's going to be much more about uh, just chilling, relaxing, maxing all cool. Playing some beep outside of the school when a couple of guys are up to no good. There's early mobilization in the neighborhood. Check on the Eastern Front. The Soviets are scared. They're saying, um. I don't know what would they be saying. We're gonna fall back to Stalingrad and something about your hair? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, that's kind of a terrible attempt at uh, that. Let's pretend that never happened. Ooh, hello. Uh, yeah, some of our military uh, MP units are getting caught. They're still technically called cavalry units because they don't have any MPs attached, but whatever. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to ask some people for, like, lease lands and stuff because we need some more stuff. So, modify incoming lease land. Hi. Would you give me some... Oh, they have a lot of motorized there. Yoink. You've got no... Hmm, okay. Right, Norway. Quest to lease land. You hate me, but you will still provide me stuff. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. Sweden, do you want to lease lend me? Maybe. No, because they're not fighting in the war. Understandable. Soviet Union, modify the expeditionary force. We can send it to you. Ah. Uh, right, what will you give me? Motorized, again, you've got a lot of motorized available. Exactly the same number. Send, I just need convoys. United States probably won't lease land me. No. Uh, France. I appreciate the fact you're still lease landing me despite the fact you've lost most of your country. Right now. What I could do with, most of all, Convoys. Please tell me that Greece has convoys. Greece has convoys. It's going to give me the convoys. Thank you so much, Greece. You are a star. Please give them to me before you get killed. Um, is there anyone else I can ask for stuff? Bass United Kingdom. I guess, yeah, ask Belgium. Request to lease land. Hi. Convoys? Yeah, son. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they will not accept. What did I ask for that was too much? Everything? Oh. Oh, that sucks. I 
Anyone got any cool ideas about who we could ask? Most people have like overlords and stuff and so won't actually get involved with me. Um, I guess Denmark. You've got convoys. You will not accept. Huh. Well, I guess it's something at least. Nice. Lots of support comment. 11 convoys. Oh, what the hell is this? You gave me, like, almost 11,000. That, that's got to be a, a gun. I don't actually recognize it. M26, probably a gun of some kind. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, one support equipment. Once. Oh, so kind of you. Thank you. Um, in the Soviet Union. Uh, I assume that's a gun. It looks like a gun to me. Um... A transport plane. Oh, I forgot I asked for that. Uh, yeah, that's cool. United Kingdom. Please tell me, give me something awesome. No convoys. Okay. Well, still got a load of stuff. Trying to get it over here is going to be more the issue. Wow, we need a lot more oil. And, of course, uh, cavalry getting caught and probably going to get murdered by that destroyer. We could try and stop it with our fleet. Run a risk. I said it is just one destroyer. We might be able to kill it. Okay, let's do a convoy escort. We'll risk it. It's 11 destroyers and one uh, heavy cruiser, so I'm not sure how this is going to go down in terms of a war if we actually have to fight this. What are you doing here? A motorized is actually coming to take me on? What? That's crazy. Ooh, it looks like they backed away. They aren't there anymore. Okay, uh, Australian Squadron, just go back and hold in base. I don't want you to get yourself murdered. Yeah. Oh, hi. So you did land. And then you left. You aren't there anymore. That's weird. Insufficient resources. What do we need? 32. Wow, we need a lot. Um, steel. Dear God, we need a lot of stuff. Ouch! 80 steel. Damn! I feel like I've been punched in the gut with that one. Oh! What's all this coming from? That's flickering a lot and kind of weirdly. Why 120? That seems a little bit, like, crazy. We don't need that much steel. How much do we need? We need 33. I'm going to do this manually, because it seems to be a little bit on the, uh, a little bit on the crazy side right now. Um, oil. How much oil do we need? We need 12, not 56. How much do we need in terms of, uh, aluminium? How much we need in terms of uh, rubber? Let's go for a little bit more of a sensible number. Hmm. It looks like our main problem right now is more to do with uh, getting enough convoys out rather than anything else in particular. So I'm going to increase the number of convoys we're building. Honestly, we should probably build a few more uh, naval yards right now. Navy is going to be a big deal for us. So let us... Construction, naval dockyards. Ooh, that is actually a little bit brutal. We'll, uh... Actually have to drop some of the military factories. Hopefully when we're defending Japan as well, we'll be able to get the stuff they've got there. Uh, they've got a lot of uh, naval factories over there. What are they called? Naval bases. Naval Dockyard, that's the one. I'll let you finish the military factory since they started. You can go and stand in camera. It's fluctuating up and down at the moment because we don't have enough convoys. Wow, look at that. We have 238 out of 1,600 convoys needed. Ouch. 
That's pretty brutal. That damn lease land. We need convoys. We really, really need convoys. Actually, we need convoys so much, I'm gonna... Everyone for convoys. Like, I appreciate what you're doing, but we need the convoys. <laughs> I don't know what we've got given that is requiring us so many convoys. Oh, it's that one-time stuff, isn't it? It's one time we need to shuttle it over here. Poland non-aggression pact. Do Poland exist? Poland, you don't exist. It's probably like one guy, like some like guy who's just an expat lives abroad and goes, "I'm the last of Poland." Hello, would you like a uh, non-aggression pact? That's not what Poland sounds like. I'm sorry, like I can't do a Polish accent. Um, yeah, that's that's not a thing. I'm gonna kind of have to leave you. I don't want to risk taking my troops overseas right now. Those poor convoys. It's because of that damn lease land. Maybe I should just cancel it and be like, no, I don't want your lease land. I'm sorry. I'm doing okay without it. That probably would be the smart thing to do right now, but I am not smart. I never claim to be a smart man. Right, let's go to five times speed. Ooh, actually, can we deploy the... <gasps> yes! Right. Hello! I've got new forces for you. Now, I wonder how many of them are going to get killed going across the sea. Unable to transport to target. Have you got a particular reason for that? Seems a little bit odd that you won't. Oh, for God's sake. You know what? I'm going to tell you to come over here. And you're not going to do it? Unable to transport to target. Uh, I do need you over here. There's a lot of stuff to defend. Do like maybe I set up like a naval invasion for my own territory? Move you over. No. Why would you not move over there? Maybe we've got to wait for you to get like full organization strength or something. 91, 92, 95, 97. My counting's a little bit off, I know. 100. There we go. Do me a favor. Come over here. As part of a separate unit. Nope. Okay, can you come over for like a front line? Like I'll, I'll put a front line on like Mongolia or somewhere. Nope. What is your issue? I really don't get it. Atomic research. Oh, uh, no convoys. Do 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 do. Ooh, actually, that said, we have dropped uh, about four hundred convoys needed, so that is going down. Obviously, um, me being a little bit steady there, it is convoys that's the issue. Construction would be nice. A free artillery upgrade would also be really nice. There's so many things that I really want right now. Rockets? Hmm. I haven't gone for the rocket upgrades though, so I'll pass on that one. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for APC. That would be very much appreciated. Actually, have they changed how APCs work? Motorized infantry hardness. Enables universal carrier. So this is... Mechanized infantry, mechanized infantry. Motorized infantry. Motorized infantry hardness enables the... 
Okay, so that improves the motor inventory and also allows the mechanized, I think. Okay. We we'll want that so we can get mechanized. The, the, basically, the idea about unmechanized is that we've got the industry just about because we stole it. That we can maybe make a few of those and it'll certainly uh, improve the survivability of our troops by increasing the hardness. I'm actually going to not have you go over here. I'm actually going to expand this. Um, I don't want you going over dribs and drabs. I want you going all at once. That way, when you split out, any enemy ships will only catch a couple of you. And I'll wait for the compost to be done. That took me a while to really work out. I'm sorry. I'm special. What can I say? Um. As many combos as possible right now. That said, we are getting a fair amount of uh, equipment out of it. 45 front equipment. A lot of motorized. Look at that. Like, foreign equipment almost uh, dwarfs our own production on that one. Anything else that's like, uh, eh, carrier fighters, technically, I guess is foreign equipment. A lot of like dribs and drabs and odd ends that I've just got foreign equipment of, like tactical bombs, etc. Convoys, I wonder how much that was. No. Okay. Well, we're producing equipment at a reduced speed at the moment, which uh, is bearable. I mean, it's not great, but uh, I'll live with it for the moment. Just because we are getting quite a lot of stuff in from this. And it will go down as the convoys fill their route up. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have asked for it because it's just put such a strain on us, but for now it's okay. Um, we will grab, expand the northern infrastructure, we'll grab uranium mining. That should help quite a lot. That way we can go for the actual uh, atomic research without being too um, constrained. Right, what do we need here? Oh, so much slower. That said, they're all still, like, damaged military factories, so it's fine. I'll leave them as they are for the moment. There we go. Only uh, about 600 to go. Full of Sevastopol. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like they did a naval invasion. Not good. I might have to send some forces over there at some point to help out. That said, when I go over here, I'm going to be a drop in the bucket. And I will just end up in the meat grinder. And the last thing I want to do is throw Australia into the meat grinder. This is why I'm not attacking the Allies yet. If it had gone differently, and we'd have succeeded in still containing, like, you know, a bit of France, a bit of the front line here, um, like, Soviet Union still here, I might pick on the Allies. But right now, picking on the Allies is just going to result in Germany getting a bit more of a steamroll on. I want the Allies facing down Germany and the Allies abroad. Right now, Germany's too strong. I do not want to get involved in the meat grinder. I want the allies to do that. Right now, the Soviets are kind of falling back half across the front. The other half are only just holding. No offensive going on right now. The only offensive really is going on is Sevastopol. Everything else is a German push. <laughs> okay, there's one Japanese prominent here. Cool. Um... No, Albania, I don't want a non-aggression pact. You also don't exist. Again, this is like one, like, Albanian embassy somewhere in the world is like, you know what we really need? We need a non-aggression pact. With who, Albania? With Australia. Did you just look for the next country in, like, the phone directory? Yes. Assembly line production. We'll follow that up with... Ooh, construction would be pretty nice. We could start doing synthetic oil to produce some oil ourselves, but honestly, it's probably either to trade. Um... When we go up against the Allies, maybe we won't want to trade because we'll need to be able to secure oil for ourselves and the Allies do have a good um, control of the oil. Convoy sailing, it's got efficiency, etc. Tempting, but then we're not really escorting. Um, naval, well, we should wait for our naval stuff for that. I think maybe improved artillery will help. You know what would also be a really good bet right now? We should probably upgrade some of our stuff. Mm, we still have nothing to add, actually. Armored um, Division. Oh, you still cavalry involved? I mean, I guess that gives you HP, but we can probably rotate this out for mobile battalion. Uh, mobile, uh, what's it called? Motorized infantry. There we go. HP is basically the same. It doesn't look like it's really gone up. Weight, suppression. Supply use. It's gone down. Yeah. Combat width, 8. 
add an extra light tank to make it 10. And of course, we'll add spot artillery, engineer company, recon company. We'll save that. And suddenly we find... Ooh. Yeah, we're down a few light tanks. That said, we'll make them at some point. Yeah, we need 40 more light tanks each, which is fine. Everything else is fine, actually. We've actually got enough artillery, etc. I thought we might actually have some issues there, but still got supplies. Light tanks, less than 100 needed. The least ending is doing pretty well. It is really hurting us at the moment for convoys, but it's doing pretty well for us. This episode's a much more relaxed, chilled episode, I feel. Once we get to the convoys up to a reasonable standard, we'll uh, start picking up the pace again. But right now, I feel we need to just spend some, you know, alone time away from the rigors of the front line. Just, just working on our chi, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Uh, but we need, we need our convoys back. Only uh, another 220 convoys to go, which should take one more rotation of our convoys around the world. And then we'll have uh, the ability to transport some bar and peace again. Tokyo ah. Come off it. You love us, really. Should we go for Gentlist over here? Yeah. What does that give us? Local manpower, set minus 70%. Factory, 60%. Uh, resources, 30. Whereas this, like, the factories get a lot better. But the manpower goes down. Okay. The same one might consider doing to, like, Japan. They have a lot of factories and stuff. So it might be a good idea to have Japan, like, pumping up its factories. They don't care about the manpower as much there. Whereas everyone else, we care a little bit more about the manpower rather than anything else they've got. Uh, the factories would definitely be helpful. Amount of 60% of factories is a bit harsh. We'll see. We'll see. How are we doing here? Uh, yeah, you join them. It's very tempting to get these guys just to, like, practice. Like, do some training or whatever. Right. Still complaining about resources. We've got a little bit of surplus of steel. Oil, eh. Mm. Okay, let's try and fix our oil problem. Rubber, we'll try and fix our rubber problem as well. Aluminium, we'll try and fix that. And then I'm not going to touch this again until it can sort itself out. Because it will complain. Because there's some way the convoy system works. It's got to free up a convoy. Sevastopol's still held though. And they have enough forces in there that the Soviets aren't able to really do anything. Look at this. Soviets are throwing individual units. And they're going in with like six in places. And quickly crushing them. In fact, this looks like this unit might be caught out if they're not careful. Soviets are not having a good time there. Look at that. Look at this number of units. Like 90 infantry. Just getting deployed there from the Black Sea. That is, that is brutal. That is really brutal. How are we doing over here with the convoys? Okay-ish. I feel what we're going to do. This, this episode is a very slow episode. I do realize that sometimes you need to have these slow episodes just to relax and mostly to sort out my horrific convoy situation. Uh, that said, we're up to 300 convoys and uh, we're almost done with this rotation of convoys once they've got the last of the lease land in. We should be okay. Let's look at the United States. How are you doing, United States? Oh, partial mobilization. There we go. They're getting there. Oh, there we go. We now have the uh, convoys back. I don't think we have enough to transport our... Yeah, how many have we, we got spare? 30. It's not enough to transport these yet. But one rotation will have enough to transport our uh, cavalry over. We've grabbed that. I probably want to grab an encryption just to defend us, but there are many other things I really need right now. Yeah, improved infantry equipment is probably a, a good bet. Especially since it's a passive buff. Oh, hello. What's this? Yeah, I can't face this. This is 10 light cruisers, 2 submarines, and 8, yeah, 8 destroyers. I, I can't face that down. I'm afraid this, uh, this cavalry is going to have some issues. Yeah, sorry about that. Japan, unfortunately, has, uh, has its way with the Navy. Oh, we've also lost one over here. It looks like we've done a whole load of repositioning now that the convoys have become available. And we are losing units left, right, and center. Oh dear. You know what? Let's quickly add you in. Get you moving. 
we might be able to defend against this. Convoy escort. Do it quickly enough and we might actually make somewhere. Come on. Here we go. They're up. They got away. Excellent. Right. Immediately go back to port. I know this is playing a bit more of a, like, micromanagey game and stuff, but it's somewhat realistic in that you just bring your force out to do that and they risk getting caught, etc. But it's the only way. We're not going to be able to hold up to a full-on firefight right now with other naval forces in the area. We did lose a couple of uh, units right there of cavalry. However, the rest of them are on their way. I believe in you. Ooh, national focus. Uh, uranium mining. Technically, we won't have um, nuclear attack until like another year, I think. 43? Or is it 42 or 43? Let's check. It's 43. So yeah, we don't need to get that right now. Uh, what's probably a lot better for us is to grab something like logistics or fund Owen gun research. Um, bonus to land doctrine is nice after the sentinel tank. A lot of these are very beneficial to us. I'm personally leaning on... Ooh, what's this? Another land doctrine. Ooh. Another uh, infantry weapon. And uh, okay. Let's get the bonus for logistics companies, and then immediately afterwards we'll get the the tanks and we'll start um, investigating the new tank technology. Right. Come on. Get up here, cavalry. When the end the episode once you're in position. But right now I've got to watch you like a hawk. Because right now, if this 11 gets caught, 11 will get caught in a battle. If they split up more and more, which they are doing, things like one or two might get caught. But that will also hold down the Navy while the Navy tries to engage one or two. And the rest will get through, ideally. Oh, they've done it again. Oh, is that a carrier force? On the map, it looks like a carrier force. I don't know if I want to engage that. We can always gauge and then pull away. But I want to be very cautious when we do this. I do not want to get my Navy caught. We've only just got our Navy back up to 12 units. Oh, they got themselves murdered. Well, let's see how this goes. As the Japanese forces position themselves. There we go. Yeah, that is two carriers, four battle. Oh no 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 Yeah, you are set to do not engage at the moment. That said, it looks like most of the cavalry are getting through. Ooh, hello! That's right outside my door as well. Let's try... Fire at will. Move into there. Protect them. There we go. They're backing out now knowing that they are significantly outgunned. Oh, actually, they're, they're coming in. They're coming in. Human wave offensive. Lovely. Might kill that destroyer if we're lucky. We did kill the destroyer. Are they engaging us elsewhere? They took out one down there with 14 destroyers. I wasn't going to really be able to take that one on. Uh, no. That worked kind of well for us. Let's pull back. Go back to do not engage. I don't want you doing anything too rash right now. And just wait there. But... We did take a couple of losses, but they are now in position. And your garrison order? Minimum division's 51. We're only six short. Uh, not doing too badly there. Um, I'm not going to grab this. We've actually got two land doctrine uh, bonuses coming. We're going to miss out because we don't need both of them. Uh, and it only gives us a recovery rate. Out of supply as well, I guess. Effect on partisans isn't applicable, really. Uh, what we should grab, though, is construction. At some point, we'll grab MPs as well. A little bit of a longer episode today, due to being mostly about uh, our convoys and moving units around. Our convoys are now a lot happier for being, uh, not dealing with my lend shenanigans anymore. We'll probably want to pump our motorized a little bit higher. Actually, we've got a load of motorized from the uh, lend so we're fine for that. Yeah, we're fine for that for now. What we do do want to do do what we do 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 want to do is we want to adjust our production of convoy so we're not producing them as much. We don't need quite so many now. Yeah, focus on these. 
and also maybe build me a battleship. We don't actually have the tech for battleship. Okay, don't build me a battleship then. Uh, but I would definitely like to get a few more heavy cruisers that can sort of compete on the sea. Um, and also light cruisers. Not that we're actually able to build them because we have too many destroyed things, but ah. For now, though, I've been Andrew Lissi. We're going to end the episode here. If you like, please don't like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. We're doing pretty well. Um, although I will be a lot happier once we can deal with this uh, horrific Japanese navy. And they're also taking over some of our homeland. Admittedly, the less important bits of homeland, uh, Papua New Guinea not particularly strong for us. Only has like two factories, etc. Still, those two factories could be of use to us. And I would like to go back. However, I cannot even dare face the navy. We know they have at least two aircraft carriers, four battleships. There is no way you even touch that. Our best thing is our one heavy cruiser. And there is no way that wins. We are completely outgunned on that one. So, if you've liked, please remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Also consider commenting. Let me know how terrible I am at just grabbing a load of lease land and then forgetting I can't actually ship it over. But, oh my god, look at that manpower. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of free manpower. Whew. I like it. I've been Atrilisium. Until next time, stay shiny.